Hey there, YouTube. Um, if you've been watching me for years, uh, you might recognize this uh, Garden King 5 horsepower rototiller. It's from 1976. I got it. Um, I can't believe it's been 15 years already. I just uh, seen when I made the video, it, and it was 15 years ago. I bought this from a yard sale as is for 30 bucks. Um, it was a non-start. Uh, the gas tank was rusty, the carb was uh, blocked up, and I had um, a spare carburetor and gas tank, a matching one that I took off of a Bobcat snowblower engine in the garage, so I had that on hand, and I uh, replaced the diaphragm, replaced uh, the base gasket in between the carburetor and gas tank, and um, yeah, I got it running. And a neighbor of mine, a late neighbor of mine, um, I was telling him I was planning on selling it because all I could see is dollar signs at the time, and and he convinced me to keep it. And I took his word for it, and I kept it, and it's been serving me well. Um, when I first got it, the starter clutch uh, was always squealing all the time, no, no matter how much I cleaned it and um, how much I oiled it. Um, it was just a lost cause. So I found a matching starter clutch um, in the auto shop, I think it was, at the school I last worked at. I'm still trying to find a new coil for it, though. Um, finding a Briggs engine at the scrapyard to get parts off of or a, or a free one, it's hard. But yeah... Uh, 15 years, it's hard, to, it's hard to believe I had this thing 15 years already, and it served me well. Uh, this thing always starts on your old gas. It's probably the best starting uh, machine I have. And this year, surprisingly, one pull, the thing started right up after sitting um, all winter. The gear drive <laughs> um, labeling is all, uh, was all covered in dirt. But yeah, uh, this thing has served me well. My brother used it last year for the first time, and he was like, wow, this thing really works good. And it's got awesome reverse. Um, as you see here, I got a pair of earmuffs because this thing is pretty loud. But it tills my garden every year, and plus I uh, tilled some spaces like uh, flower beds and um, spaces to plant grass, so... Yeah, it's hard to believe I had this thing 15 years already, but it served me well. One of the things I want to do to it is reconfigure um, the exhaust <laughs> because it's sticking out really far. I want to like get a shorter pipe for it and make it more offset. This is a really good muffler. Uh, those mufflers that I had on here in the past, uh, they would break off because they would get so hot. But this one is a nice steel one, so um, I think I'm going to uh, use this once I reconfigure uh, the muffler setup. But yeah, again, it served me well. <laughs> um, I'll put the video, uh, a link to the original video in the description, so in case you, ha in case you guys haven't seen it, uh, you could see it, and then you could see um, this video now if you want to again. And that concludes the video. Bye.